Oh yes. Oh. There, there. Oh, no, there. Oh. 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 Baby, uh, you uh, are the greatest. Uh, this has uh, got to be the best night of my life. I need more, Larry. More. And something new. Here, slip into these. God, Shamra, is there anything we haven't done? There's lots I haven't done, Laffer. That's why I'm leaving you. Leaving? Now? A night with you gives a woman plenty of time to think. All that New Age philosophy crap just isn't me. What I really love is money. You can't leave me here like this. You're right. So long, sucker. Hey, I don't smoke. Oh, baby, you are the lowest. This has got to be the worst night of my life. <sighs> well, at least things can't get any worse. I should never say that. Uh, yeah, I guess they can. Welcome, everybody, to Legacy Larry 7, Love for Sale, which is attention, the last one. Attention, you in the penthouse. Yeah, the penthouse. Yes, you, the person who spent the night with Shamra. Leave now. We think there may be a fire somewhere. Well, the fire is right there in my bed. <laughs> and it's spreading. Um, yeah. Ah! Seven, law for sale. The last one, because I'm not counting magna cum laude, uh, since the game is not played with Larry, but with his nephew. And I'm also not counting the reboots of the first one. There are two kind of reboots, which I also own and I plan on playing. Um, but they're not part of the original series. It's actually a reboot with a lot of fun stuff going on in there well but this one is the sixth in the long series of games revolving around the expert is larry laffer i'm reading this out loud a hapless group middle-aged man looking for female companionship cursor around the screen until it's over an object you can tell because the cursor well it changes in shape click the left mouse button and the menu will appear yeah this is the game telling you like hey uh do something because stuff is on fire Anyways, this continues uh, straight on from the previous game. Let's just hit Larry Six, shape up or slip out. And uh, we are going to collect a couple of things. Move here. the cursor around the screen well, until it's the cursor is, object. A, is a you condom. You can tell because the cursor barely changes in shape. It's... Click the left mouse button and the menu will appear. All right, let's click. Uh, let's click somewhere. That's the right click. That's not what I want. Um, is there a menu kind of thing? I don't think there is. Um, tomorrow's hot bed. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a look around here and there. Adventure games require a lot of looking. I know. Let's look. Make sure you click on everything that causes your oh cursor to. Well, highlight. Then, from the resulting menu, select look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look. In handcuffs, as in life, Shamara spared no expense. There's no way you'll ever break a pair of cuffs manufactured by a company called Sisters of Steel. Oh. Uh, -huh. uh, type of verb. That's interesting. I don't Try want to. taking something from the tables beside your bed there. No, no, I, I want to, I want to do something. Um, how do I get, what is the, what is the, no idea. That's our inventory. That is, it highlights. Click the left mouse That's where we can save, which I don't want to yet. Menu. If take isn't on your menu there, you're over the wrong spot there, fella. I know, I know, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for... Ow. Oh, maybe we cannot do that. Yeah. 
Can we? I don't think so. Move your mousey over a table until the cursor uh, unrolls or lengthens. That is it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Click the left mouse button, select take from the resulting menu. If take isn't on your menu there, you're over the wrong spot there, fella. Yeah, okay. So I wanted to do that because... Where's the other? <laughs> yeah, baby. We gotta collect 32 of them. All right, so let's take a little look. Move your mousey over the table end. until the cursor really? uh, unrolls or lengthens. That is, it highlights. Click the left mouse button, select take from the resulting menu. If take isn't on your menu there, you're over the wrong spot there, fella. Yeah, that's getting annoying. That table would be empty if Shamara hadn't left her vice grips lying there. Vice grips? Shamara's vice grips lie on the Move table. Move your mousey over a table until the cursor uh, unrolls or lengthens. That is, it highlights. <laughs> Click the left mouse it's button, a good thing select Shamara take from the resulting menu. Night. If and take isn't on your you menu there, you're over the wrong spot there, fella. Okay, so the, the game oh. actually tells me, hey, pick something up. I did, okay? So what's there? One of La Costalata's complimentary little hair weave kits lies on the table. You were planning to take it home. This is actually the same voice as the narrator from Six. La Costalata thoughtfully provides one of these complimentary little hair weave kits in every room. Are we still in La Costalata? Inventory objects work just like game thing. objects. Left click on one and the menu appears. Try looking at one now, don't you know? Okay, fine. Uh, look. La Costalata thoughtfully provides one of these complimentary little hair weave kits to every... Okay, let's oh, let's uh, open. You open the La Costalata complimentary little hair weave kit and find a needle inside. Nice. Can we bend? You can't possibly bend it with your bare fingers if you only had a tool. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Yeah. All right. Can we try it? Uh, can we use that on needle? There we go. Now it's bent. Can we use that on vice grips? It's about as bent as it's going to get. Oh, we could have used it both times. All right, so, uh, feel? Meow! <laughs> What's the matter, Larry? Got a little prick? Yeah. Oh, wait. I... Oh. oh, you fell for it. All right, so can we... Please, stand still. Use the bat needle Maybe. on the handcuffs. Yeah, well, now we're saved. I wanna. Are you crazy? This is the 40th floor. Don't you worry. We've got the net here. <laughs> Those fish are dead, by the way. Those poor little guys have seen better days. All right, let's open up the door. Well, that's not gonna work. Our night of passionate lovemaking must have overheated the frame. Yeah, right. Can we uh, throw the chair? Wow, oh, you're so strong. <sighs> Hotel furniture just ain't what it used to be. It's not gonna work at all. Is there anything? Can we do something with this? Look, this glass door leads to the balcony. Oh my god! Safety. Yeah, that's not. What about the lamp? Can we? La Costalata recycled an old barbell and a couple of 10 pound weights to make this floor lamp. Maybe we can throw that against the uh, window. You can't lift that, Larry. It must weigh all of 20 pounds. <laughs> Alright, so there's another thing that we can do here. Um, other. And then basically we want to break it. So let's do that. Ouch. Hey, what's this? Ow! 
I hate paper cuts. <laughs> Your back is full. Ow! I hate paper cuts. That's funny. Yump! Yump! Okay, I'm coming. Well, there we I go. I wish I had for myself a dollar every time I've heard that. Couldn't you just have jumped into the pool, Larry? Oh. Leisure suit Larry! You just left from the 40th floor of a burning building! What are you gonna do next? I'm going to... take a cruise! Hey, we have already taken a cruise in... Larry 2! And uh, here we are, title screen and credit roll. And the famous Larry too. All jazzied up this time. But yeah, this game is a lot more cartoony than the other ones. I mean, they were pretty cartoony, but this one is going beyond the everything that we have witnessed. They yeah, upgraded the art style and uh, the humor in this one. If you thought the other ones were bad, this one is even worse. I mean, we got 32 Waldos to collect. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of shenanigans, there's a lot of puns. Even the girls that we have to charm. Um, their names are puns on existing people. Oh, hello there, boat babes. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Welcome aboard the PMS Bouncy, Laffer. Captain Thigh. I'm Captain Thigh. Before this cruise is over, she'll be falling all over me. <laughs> well. Here's your key card, Mr. Laffer. There's been a slight problem with your room. Eh, I kind of expected that. Oh, not to worry. I took the liberty of substituting our largest cabin. You'll have plenty of room. <laughs> wow, that's super. Thanks. Now, um, where would my room be? Oh, just check the map. You're in room zero. Is that next to the engine room? Anyways, uh, there's someone. Your attention, please. Anyone wishing to spend next week humping the captain, please report immediately to the ship's lounge. All right, let's do that. We can go to the map here, and then um, that's the forward. Oh, that's that's our room, Kevin Zero. But we're going to to the lounge. There we go. A few chairs there in the back. Oh, never mind. You're not seated by now, just stand. I'm sure Captain Thigh will be pleased as punch to see such a good turnout this week. And as you all know, each week she runs a little competition for her male, or male-like, passengers, which she calls the Thigh's Man Trophy Contest. Isn't that cute? Of course, there's no actual trophy involved. No, what you win is better than hardware. One of you will spend next week cruising on the captain. I mean, yeah, well, <laughs> there is. She'll treat you to a one-week cruise in her cabin, where your every need will be met. Oh. By now, each of you has received your personal scorecard, listing a random set of events the computer assigned you. Now, don't you worry, okay? No one has to enter every event. There's just too many. Uh, just find the ones listed on your scorecard, enter, and win. The man with the highest total score wins. Are there any questions? Are there any answers? You may begin. Hey, um, I've got a question. Yes, you there, in the interesting clothes. Uh, what's this item listed here on my scorecard? Chastity? It's a joke, sweetheart. Say, what's wrong with you, anyway? You're not some sort of government infiltrator, are you? That's ridiculous. Oh, yes? 
I am going to keep my eye on you, sweetheart. It's not my fault you can't make a joke. Yeah? You'll find out when we're finally in charge. Then you'll be the one singing a chaff titty tune. That's it. I'm leaving now. Everyone else is already gone. So they have. Very well dismissed. Hmm. He's a strange one. And I'm very happy that I don't have to read all of those texts. But... Yeah, baby! Yeah, we found another one. All right. Let's go this way. And, uh... Look at you. Johnson, the bartender, fits the old cliche, surly to bed, surly to rise. All right, let's talk to you then. Uh, howdy, barkeep. What do you got? My name's Johnson, and anything you want, we got. What do you want? Is that a signature? Also. Yeah, baby. All right. A bourbon and soda on the rocks with a twist and an umbrella <laughs> and, and some fruit and maybe a bendy straw you know one of those you know <clears throat> if you got them you about done uh yeah here we ain't got no bending <laughs> straws so i gave you a captain happy's barrel of bud straw oh well, nice I guess it'll have to do what do i owe you nothing i'll put it on your room got a key card right here okay now drink it <laughs> Okay. Give me a... Oh, just point to the menu. One of those. No problem. Coming right up. So where do we get this? Here you go. Look at that. Boy, are these drinks watered down. Can we do another one? Give me a... Will that oh, be different? just point to the menu. One of those. No problem. Coming right up. Here you go. Oh, it'll be the same. Boy, are these drinks watered down. All right. You must get a lot of guys in here telling you their troubles, don't you? Is it hard, Johnson? Yeah, makes me sick. I usually punch their lights out. Why? Oh. Hmm, no reason. Um. I, uh, bet you see a lot of beautiful women working here, huh, Johnson? Yeah, so what? I'm just making conversation. And I'm just making drinks. Why don't you stop yapping and order one? I already had three, thank you very much. See you later, Johnson. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go through there. Your attention, please. Newt has won the high-speed hey, light whoa. vest inflating competition. We you salute you, there. Newt. That's private. Why, them women could be naked in there, and the, the breast is just swinging back and forth with the, with the nipple thing, and they could be hanging upside down again, and well, you just don't know. Oh, sorry, I was just looking for the head. Don't you talk that nautical talk to me, bub. I'm just a plain old country boy. It's okie dokie then. Uh, we're not allowed to go in there. Uh, but we are allowed to go in there. We can't run. Ah, it doesn't need to because Larry's moving fast enough. There's... Yeah, Alright, do you see this? There used to be, if you bought, bought a physical copy of this game, I did not bought a digital copy, there used to be a uh, smelling card. You could scratch and sniff. So basically what they're saying right now is scratch open the first one and sniff, and you could sniff whatever is on the screen here. So that's also a nice addition that they had to the game. Um, anyways, we need to... Uh, You've always had a weak spot in your heart for cute topiary pussies. Nice. A one-eyed topiary weasel? Probably in show business. What was that one? Whoever heard of a topiary where's dildo? I have no idea. Let's uh, take a little look around because we need to find someone. You. Peggy is the ship's surly foul-mouthed deckhand. Heavily affected by a childhood spent watching too many pirate movies, she thinks she's a swashbuckler. She even had her peg leg rigged to accept multiple interchangeable janitorial attachments. Okay, but we need to talk to her. <laughs> uh, excuse me, ma'am. Um, may I bother you for a moment? Ooh, this god salt air is rusting me f***ing leg socket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who the hell are you? My name is Larry. 
Larry Laffer? Yeah, well, I'm Peggy. And did I mention this salt air is rust and myth? Yeah, yeah, uh, thanks. Well, you don't have to be so f***ing uppity. Okie dokie. I can see why they call you Peggy. Peggy. Oh, can you lame ass? It's because my f***ing mother named me Margaret, you stupid c sucker. <laughs> Jesus. So, um, how'd you lose your leg, Peg? Oh, freak f***ing accident, that's how. One day, I inadvertently combined KZ Jetty with deodorant spray, forming a powerful contact explosive. Sexual lubricant? Deodorant spray? And you lost your leg? Let's just say I wasn't spraying me f***ing armpits, okay, asshole? Ooh, okay. <laughs> no more details, please. Uh, you're pretty foul-mouthed. No. No. <laughs> I don't want to pick Is it just me, or do you seem to swear a lot? Swear? Oh, hell no, mother -er. I suffer from chlorets. Chlorets? <laughs> Don't you mean Tourette's? No, you dumb twit. I mean I got a foul mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, Miss Peggy, can you help me with these competitions? Help you? Hell no! It's guys like you that dribble all over the f***ing love master, and then guess who has to clean all that shit up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good old Peggy, that's who. Shit. I can't tell you how many times me pig legs been stuck in that god drain. Oh, disgusting. Anyways, there's a, a different thing that we want to ask you. We want to ask you about Captain... Um... Thigh. Miss Peggy, tell me everything about the ship's mysterious captain, would you? Captain C Sucker, you mean? <laughs> That's what I call her. That f her. She just lays on her ass all day long. She has no morals at all. God, I envy her. All right. Well, thank you very much, Peggy. I'll see you around, Miss Peggy. It's been my f***ing pleasure, you p <laughs> At least we figured out uh, how to make uh, an explosive, didn't we? Now, there should be another... Uh, let's see. There will be a testing of the PMS Bouncy's electric sail motors tonight at 1100 hours PM o'clock in the evening when it's dark. That is all. All right, but there's yeah, baby. there's that dude. We got six already. All right, let's A small a sign reads: "Open only in case of fire. Caution: Alarm will sound." Let's open it. No alarm sounds. Hmm. Makes me wonder about all those times I didn't sneak into movie theaters. Hmm. Can we take it? Well, we got the fire hose. All right, let's move one more screen to the left. Uh, yeah. Get you. Yeah. yeah. And let's take a little look at you. The kumquat tree is an evergreen shrub with beautiful, sweet-scented white flowers, cultivated for its small orange-yellow citrus fruit, which is commonly eaten fresh or in preserves, but rarely in quiche. Oh. And this is the first one you've ever seen that's been sculpted into a sheep shape. Quickly, repeat after me. Sheep shape, sheep shape, sheep shape. Sheep shape, sheep shape, sheep shape. Uh, let's take some kumquats. Ah, you snare a delicious kumquat from the tree. How you wish you had a taste icon so you could taste it. Hey, wait. With this new interface, you might. So those lights, <laughs> they got a peculiar shape. All right. Who screwed up that plant? That's funny. Um, can we go there? Wow. Look at all the cool stuff back here. Oh, well. <laughs> My goodness. Um, there should be. Let's take a little quick look around again to see if there's a person here. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah, there you go. This handsome sailor entertains the many children on the cruise. What are you doing? 
Oh, I'm the handsome sailor who entertains the many children on this cruise. Uh, yes, you but are. I haven't seen a single child anywhere. That's because this game is too dirty for kids. Meta. You're actually right. So, exactly what is it you do? Well, I make balloon animals. Say, do you want one? Yes, please. Mm, not really. No, I'll no. consider that a yes. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, what are you going to make? Of course you do. Look, it's Hooty the Owl. But that doesn't look like that. Well, it does to me. Yeah, well, uh, y you can keep it, okay? Fine. Can we get another one? Uh, you ready for another? Yes. Sure. What are you going to make this time? Of course, a rocket. Look, it's a bald <laughs> eagle. But that doesn't look like that. It does to me. Yeah, well, uh, y you can keep it, okay? Okay, you know what? One more. One more. Hey, I recognize you. Have we met? Yeah, you're that guy from the bar in Larry 1. I'm not. Yeah, you were that psycho barber on the airplane in Larry 2. Was not. And you were Chief Kenny Wawa on Nun Tonight Island in Larry 3. Was not. And you hit all the floppy disks from Larry 4. Did not. Yeah, and in Larry 5, you were that geek on the boardwalk. Was not. Yeah, and in Larry 6, you were in the pool floating on that inflatable pussy. How was that? No, not me. How about another <laughs> balloon animal? <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> Oh god. It's a rocket. Oh. Of course. Look, it's Godzilla. <laughs> Look, it's Mothra. Look, they're fighting. <laughs> oh no. Wait, is there I just figured out why you're here. Oh, really? Yeah. You're only here to balance out the ratio of sexual organ references. Why, Larry, that's so obvious. Cheap, tawdry. Al Lowe would never stoop to that. That's what you think. Your attention, please. Steve is the proud winner of the nude Scrabble competition. Well, congratulations, Steve. Anyways, I think it's a very good spot to end this episode right here. So thank you very much for watching. Let's just Larry 7, Law for Sale, and I will see you next time.